Now I've gotten the camera out because I want to have a bit of a mental dialogue, journey dialogue. Over the past five years, I've just suffered from multiple, multiple health conditions. I've suffered with fatigue, irritable bowel, leaky gut syndrome, food intolerances, adrenal problems, hormonal imbalances, period cycles, irregular and stopping low libido, depression, anxiety. I suffered with a lot of symptoms over the past five or so years. I a lot to help heal myself and to help myself be the healthiest version I possibly can be. I've become a certified trainer within that time, studied health coaching within that, within that time. I've spent thousands on doctors, supplements, specialists, naturopaths, kinesiology, acupuncture, a lot of personal development. I've done a lot to work on myself to help myself be the highest and best version of myself, yet even after all of that I still suffer from some of those things and it never seems like I fully heal myself. I'm quite spiritual as well. I always work on my spiritual being and raising my vibration and I always feel like something just doesn't feel right and something just hasn't been adding up and especially lately things just haven't been making sense to me. I've had so many nerves about coming on and sharing this video but I decided to push my nerves to the side and come on and share this video. Today I want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Hyde and as you were seeing in the start of the video I was having a mental dialogue with myself and you may notice a few things about myself then um, that I am now. Um, there's things that are different about me than I was in the start of the video <laughs> to how I am now. And there, there are a few things that are different about me. You may already know um, my story. You may have already been following me on Instagram. Or you may just be stumbling across this video as you're searching up what I'm about to share on YouTube. I'd been experiencing a multitude of symptoms for about three to five years and they were symptoms from leaky gut to IBS to depression, anxiety, low libido, I had no period, I had brain fog, fatigue, adrenal issues. Honestly, the list just goes on. I was seeing so many practitioners, so many specialists doing kinesiology, doing all the diets, and while I saw little improvements, my health never fully would restore itself. And I was studying health coaching at the time. I'd been getting into fitness, doing all these things to really improve myself. And yet I was just still stuck with these symptoms. And I felt like I was just in this point where I was really frustrated and the universe was just showing me all these signs and I finally stopped and I listened. I was gobsmacked by what I found out. What I truly believe was causing me all these symptoms was these, was these. I happened to come across a post while scrolling on Instagram. I'd seen a woman who had taken out these. I saw her story and I saw all her symptoms. They were all the symptoms that I'd had. After that, I saw that there was a group called breast implant illness. And this is the first time I heard the term breast implant illness. At the time I was like, I didn't want to believe that my implants were causing that. But at the same time, I knew that I couldn't deny it when I saw you know, 70,000 plus women all in a group getting rid of these implants. And I started to research more about them and I'd always thought that these were just silicon and I thought silicon was safe and silicon could be in the body. But 
when I started to look deeper into this, I found out that there was that these implants contained over 40 toxic, harmful chemicals and heavy metals that are neurotoxic and can cause cancer. And I did not know this at all. And I'm going to put this up here. And you may not even know this either. But you know now, I, I was just like, oh, like I just calmed myself down and I was just like, really like tuned into myself and I just I knew I knew in my heart that these were making me sick after that I decided to book in for my explant surgery I found all this out I didn't want to tell anyone I felt nervous and I really wanted to make sure that I was truly doing the right thing and I really wanted to make sure before I shared it that I'd been through it and I knew for myself that this was real. I decided to document my journey when I when this happened and all behind the scenes some really personal moments and I wasn't going to make this video but I decided that I was going to do this video because I know there's women out there who need to see this this journey that I've been on in a way of me perhaps inspiring or enlightening other women who had been going through all the same symptoms of me or who are, just, are considering getting breast implants to just spread this awareness of the truth of um, these toxic implants and the Im health implications that they can have on the human body. The next few parts of this video you're going to be seeing very personal moments up and close of when I found out and everything like that. It is the 31st of January 2019. It's the beginning of my explant journey. So coming on to document my first call with the surgeon. The consultation that we done today via Skype asked me lots of questions about um, what I've been kind of going through and why I'm getting them out and um, yeah we spoke a lot about breast implant illness and he's had a lot of women coming in and getting explant surgery done so yeah I'm feeling nervous but I'm also feeling really excited I had a ton of questions I just asked him all about um, training and like when I can get back into training obviously um, he said uh, post-surgery I can do light exercise after about three weeks and then it'll be about six weeks till I can get into um, more strength training in terms of working like I'll be working part-time yeah, he answered a lot of my questions we were also a bit concerned because my skin stretched a lot over the past six years with having implants there was a few options of getting a lift or depositing fat into the area to help fill my breast up so I've decided to go with the fat depositing thing but I just know that getting rid of these is gonna help me be the healthiest version of myself and yeah just to think that I hadn't even crossed my mind for six years I've just had these plastic toxic bags sitting inside my chest and I never even thought about it yet I'm going through all these health issues and everything just starting to make up make sense I did um, he seems like a lovely guy and I feel like I really I will be in safe hands and mum is gonna be there looking after me and yeah I'm just gonna document this whole journey and I'm doing this for for women who I can inspire and to create more awareness around this and just my own personal journey to keep track of this and have this to reflect over later on. I'm just being cut out, but what I was saying was I just know and I've just been feeling for so long like something is wrong and I feel like I finally know and I just feel like that I'm not crazy and I'm not in my head and this isn't all just me in my head, like it's real, like these symptoms, everything I've been going through it's all real it all makes sense and it's i just don't feel so crazy anymore i want to share this because i know there's other women out there feeling exactly the same and they've been going through all these symptoms and just thinking it's them and going to the doctor and then the doctor's just like oh you're fine and you're fine and your mum's like you're fine and and you just you know deep down that you're not you know deep down that there's something wrong and something's holding you back and something is causing this and i knew it all along the next four weeks and when things come up and the way I'm feeling because I need to sh sit down and share this and be real with this and the way that I'm feeling and I just need to sit down and express it and share it 
I can't believe how blinded I've been and how I could have not known earlier um, and in a way as well I'm glad that this this truth has been let out I just found it yesterday when scrolling through Instagram and I was just like wow has been revealed about by the FDA about um, breast implants and that they can cause cancer and I was just like holy moly like how do people just not know how do we not know and that's why I'm sitting down right now because I need to share this I need to get this off my chest because women and other women need to know people need to know this it's, it's crazy, it's outrageous, it's, it's like we just get so bombarded by advertising and get this and you'll look beautiful but underneath is the truth and that these 40 toxic chemicals are harmful to the body and it's four weeks till they get these out and honestly I'm so so excited and I'm so grateful that I know this now I can remove these toxic bags and and finally step into my true authentic self and finally be the girl that I came here to be without these because I it is the 24th of February 2019 I'm coming on to just document today I am 10 days away from my explant surgery and I'm so excited I decided today that I was going to do a little bit more research and do some women's stories um, with their breast implant uh, illness stories and I watched a video on YouTube that was shared in one of them group uh, Instagram pages and it was breast implants are ticking time bombs and I was a little bit hesitant and I knew that I was going to hear some things that was pretty heavy but I was ready for it so I put the video on I watched it and I really didn't feel so crazy because I've been wondering you know am I crazy like is this real and and just hearing those women's stories was like I was like yep like a hundred percent this is this is literally everything I'm going through I've been through over the past five years since having these implants is real and I also heard about Nicole who which was the founder or discovered or brought this to the awareness of women breast implant illness and hearing her hearing her story and extensive research that she's done into all of this I really knew that all the information I was receiving was real and legit I wanted to come on and just express myself and talk about this and share this I don't have anyone to talk to about this right now the camera and um, you girls are the only thing that I have to talk to about this I haven't told pretty much no one about this my mother is the only person that knows I haven't told any of my friends that I'm doing this I haven't posted about this on social media I have done anything yet because I just want to go forward with this without everyone else's opinions on what I'm doing so I'm doing this and then obviously I'm sharing this after I really needed to come on and talk about this and this video that I did watch about breast implants that are ticking time bombs I'm going to put down below because any woman who is experiencing the symptoms that I've experienced and thinks she may have this watch that video anyone who's thinking about getting breast implants watch that video because honestly it it blows my mind and also join the community and I'm gonna link that below as well I'm so excited like honestly I'm, I'm just so excited like I honestly feel like I'm going to feel so free once they're out and um, yeah I'm just I'm so ready um, I just I'm 25 now and I've just been reflecting a lot lately and I just feel like I'm growing up and I'm starting to realize that you know breast implants or breast or with, with or without the boobs like I am enough and I am amazing and I always have been and it's it's like I don't know I just feel like so many women get them because they think that they need to live up to these expectations and, and fit into society and if they don't they're not accepted and I just feel like that's it's so wrong and self-conscious of having them and just to be able to walk you know in public and be confident and not I feel like men are looking straight at my chest and people are just looking at me like a set of boobs because I'm not and I'm just so much more than that. It is the 5th of 
March 2019 and it is one day before my explant surgery. So come on and just have a little chat about what's been going on the past week and obviously how I'm feeling. In terms of how I'm feeling, I'm feeling super nervous. I'm feeling super, super excited and so, so ready. I've actually been dealing with a few of my own health problems and I really feel like they're linked to these toxic sacs in my chest. Um, I've been getting really bad acid reflux and like I'd be going to bed at night and then I'd just be waking up with like a, this lump in my throat. It's acid like coming up my stomach and it's like really disgusting pains in my right implant and like I don't know if it is ruptured or not but I'll find out tomorrow when they take it out but I've been getting more pains in this implant like the past few nights like stabbing pains in it today and I, I don't know if it's just in my head because I'm getting my surgery tomorrow or if it really is happening but I just really feel like something's going on in there okay, I was doing a bit of research to find out about what's causing this acid reflux and why it's so bad I've been doing that much research to find out that it's not from all the foods you're eating. It actually goes all the way back into your liver. It's when there's issues going on in the liver, it creates all this bile buildup and then your hydrochloric um, acid, which is inside the stomach, which helps build, break down the food, is low. So that's, that's what's happening. And what causes that within the liver is a buildup of heavy metals, toxins, chemicals. That is exactly what's inside the implant. And I really feel like it's just, it really has been causing all these issues, these implants, and just, I'm honestly, I'm so excited to get them out. There's, you know, the thoughts in my head, like, what are they going to look like, like, all that kind of stuff, but honestly, like, my health is the number one thing to me, and, you know, getting these sacks out of my chest is just the most important thing. I have kind of these circles underneath my eyes. I cover them up every single day. I put concealer on, on them. But today I decided not to put concealer on them so I can actually show you these like stark kind of circles underneath my eyes and they'd never go away. Like it doesn't every day I put concealer on to try and make them pop. I really feel like it's, you know, it's coming from my body because there's just this build up in my body. I also get, do get pimples and rough skin and acne um, and I'm so sensitive. Like if I eat any type of food, boom, acne. And I just feel like that's not, not normal. Like obviously like my body's sensitive to these things for a reason because there's something going on. It is the 6th of February, 2019. And I'm here in my road because I'm about to go in for my explant surgery. So I'm here with my mom and um, she's here supporting me. So yeah, super excited. I just had the surgeon, Dr. Damon Thomas, come in and speak with me and the anaesthetist. And um, they're just so understanding about this surgery. So yeah, it's all about to happen. Just having the courage to go through this. I'm gonna check in with you later on the other side and let you know exactly how I'm feeling. How are you feeling? Cripple. <laughs> Tired. Come on, surgery. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's day after op and I'm so glad I got these off my chest. So it is the 7th of February 2019 um, and I woke up this morning and I could not believe the colour in my face and in my eyes just after one night like I saw girls posting like before and afters of their faces and I'm going to drop it in this snap next but I was just mind blown. <clears throat> that like it is legit like it's the coloration in my face I was in a bit of pain when I went to bed last night this is my little essential oil mixture that I made up um, and I was taking Panadol every two hours and I've woken up feeling surprisingly quite well um, I've just been examining the implants because they're completely different colour so they were more of a 
clear color but they've gotten quite yellow coloration so it's just really interesting to take them out and i just cannot believe that they're in my chest like they're huge I'm kind of show you what it's looking like but i just i woke up in the middle of the night and i was just smiling at because i was just so happy because i just had my normal boobs back and i was just like oh my god like I was like seriously in the middle of the night and I'm just laying there smiling. <laughs> Such a good feeling. I just, I felt really good. I feel good. I really do. Even though I'm healing and I'm on medication, I still feel really quite good. These are 460cc implants um, of blood. So these are two, two, just two drainages happening at the moment. But here it is. I've got, I've got bandages on, but my, my natural babies are under there. I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm going into this, the surgery clinic today to see the doctor. I've been checked over. I've got a needle to remove from my arm. Um, the bags have to be removed and obviously just have a look at everything. Um, I did feel quite goozy, like goozy last night. Um, challenge to get these implants back. Um, I asked at the start if I could have them back, and they were actually said no. I said, you know, I paid eight grand for these implants. I'm taking them back. So a little update as well. And I was so blown away by the surgeon. They were just so lovely. The anaesthetist was so kind and loving, and I could also just feel like the universe, angels, spirit guides, whatever you want to call them, all around me. I could just feel the love all around me, and I knew I was doing the right thing so I feel like so often you know you can doubt doing things like this because it's so scary but I just knew I was doing the right thing for my health my future here I am now 11 weeks post surgery I must say I am feeling a lot better honestly my life has completely changed it's like I've done 180 I've gone from here to here I just wanted to drop in and show you some photos. So as you can see above, this is me at the age of 19 before I'd ever gotten breast implants. I was a 10B. And then as you can see below, this is me after explanting now at a 10C after getting a fat grafting done and a breast implant removal with Dr. Damon Thomas. In the next photos, you'll see what I looked like with breast implants. Now they are the 460C textured implants and they are also silicon shell and filling. And then as you can see below, this is me 10 weeks up after explanting, honestly feeling so amazing and absolutely loving my new natural boobies and having my health back. Honestly, I'm so, so grateful. And in the next photo, you can see what I looked like before or I had had my explant and I was honestly not happy in that photo. I was going through all of my health issues and I was not feeling myself at all. And then in the photo after, you can see me 12 weeks after having my explant and honestly feeling so much healthier, feeling so grateful that I'm now on this journey of reclaiming my health and embarking on my cleansing and detoxification. I also want to add in here, in terms of my exercise routine, in the photo on the left, I was going to gym anywhere between six to four times a week, and I was really going hard in the gym, and I had been, you know, for the past six or so years, but surprisingly enough, I've only been to the gym twice since I've had the breast implants out over the past 11 years to 13 weeks which is actually crazy and you know what I've actually been really really enjoying not going to the gym I've it's made me think outside of the box and I've been doing yoga and I've also been going on lots of walks and I've started a hula hooping and just doing heaps of fun things like that I had only gone to the gym one time and I'd actually left the gym. So I'm just going through the biggest change in my life when it comes to activity and exercise. And I have really gone off the gym, to be honest. But I thought I'd just put that out there if you're wondering about my exercise routine. But I'm definitely excited to be sharing more about that in my future videos.
it's like since I've removed these implants, it's like I've been peeling away these layers and getting closer and closer to the root of who I really am. Like for so long, I was trying to live up to these expectations. For so long, I was... I wasn't truly being who I really, really am. And it's like, now that I've removed these implants, I'm getting to the core of who I really, really am. After I got these implants out as well, I just I just developed such an awareness. I was I started to think to myself, like, hey, if these implants are causing me all these symptoms and making me sick, you know, could there be other things in my environment that have also been contributing to my symptoms? As I said earlier on in the video, I haven't had my period for over four years. I never thought much of it for so long. I was like, oh, who, you know, who wants a period anyway? I started to think more into it. And, and now that I'm, I'm really starting to truly grow up in, into a woman, I've been really questioning, you know, like, why, why haven't I had my period? And I started to find out that these toxic chemicals and heavy metals inside these implants and inside all the products and the things that I put on my body all contain toxic harmful chemicals and heavy metals just as similar or the same as what's inside these implants and they're highly toxic to the human body to find out that those toxic harmful chemicals and heavy metals have been disrupting my my system my endocrine system my body's system my hormones and that's been throwing them out of balance and it's been creating all these toxic harmful symptoms within my body and now it's just set me on this journey of going toxic free. If you see me on Instagram, you would have seen that I've written in my bio that I'm on a mission to live a toxic free, healthy and full life. And that's something I truly feel called to do. And I've also written in there to inspire others to do the same. And that's what I truly feel like is my mission it's we it's, it's our birthright i believe for us to be healthy for us to be aware and it's like now that i know all of this stuff and i've been studying and researching a lot over the past 10 weeks and i have learned so so much you know i could keep it to myself but i'm like i know that in my heart that i need to share my journey i need to share my experience and spread awareness around toxicity around our environment and around the health implications that this can have on our health since going through all this as well i've realized the toxicity that's going inside my body if you can see these implants they're a yellow discolored color and they went in clear which is a clear indication that there's been a transfer between fluids between the implant and my body which means that my body does have some of these chemicals inside. So even though my body has done its natural detoxification, I'm still going to come in and do a cleanse and to clear out any toxins, any heavy metals that have also been contributing to my symptoms. Even since having my implants out, I've still had symptoms and it's made me question other things that I'm doing, other things that are in my body, other things that have been going on. So over the past couple of weeks, I've actually been going through some other things that I'm going to share in the next video because it's too much to share in just one video. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been sharing a few things that were very personal, most too personal, I feel, to share on that platform on Instagram story. I'd actually have, this may, like I said before, this may be the first time we met, but I'm going to put my Instagram handle here if you don't know who I am. So you can go on and check out my Instagram and check out my highlight titled Breast Implant Illness where I literally shared so much on there. And I've connected with so many beautiful women. I've actually made so many amazing friends since I shared my breast implant illness story on my Instagram. It's honestly been incredible, the amount of women that I've connected with, the women that have decided to go and remove their implants who have also been suffering with breast implant illness has honestly been the most inspiring thing. And if you're watching right now, I'm so freaking proud of you. And this is why I've been wanting to share my story because I've been wanting to share more of my detoxification journey, my, my toxic free journey, my cleansing, all that stuff. I just thought I would come on and share this video about these toxic implants that were making me sick. Other contributing factors that I'm going to be sharing more about 
in the future. I must say I'm feeling a hundred times better and I also want to say before I got these implants it's like I didn't feel I was enough. But by getting these in my body it would make me more feminine, it would make me more attractive to men. But I, honestly, since getting these out, I have felt more beautiful than I ever have in my life. Like, I had to go through all of this to realize that naturally the way that I'm born and the way that I am is enough. And the way that I look right now is beautiful. And I want to share this because if there's other women out there who are about to get these to realize that you don't need them to be enough. And you don't need them to be beautiful. You are beautiful as you are. And I wish someone said that to me before I went and got these. So if I'm that person that's saying that to you before you go and get these, hope that, that makes, you know, an influence on your decision. I realize like, what do I value more? My health or this artificial body? this fake body that's not truly me that destroys health and destroys life i hope that this has been of value to you so excited for what's to come i'm so excited to be starting my cleanse and to be balancing my hormones and clearing out all these toxins from my body so that i can truly live that toxic free healthy and full life be on again in another video because I'm going through some other things um, that I'm also documenting so that is going to be in my next YouTube video Let's hope you have a really really amazing week wherever you are and feel free to comment below and you can comment message me back as well and yeah I'm just sending you a whole bunch of love bye <laughs>